In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a folding board. And uh, let's talk about some materials that you're going to need for the task. So first of all, you're going to need some magazine board. And what I've got here is BCW brand magazine board, 24 point board. And this is going to be for the backing. This is my preferred material for the backing. Um, and then we're going to need some way to stick the magazine board to our printed images. So I usually use 3M Super 77 spray glue. That's certainly an option. Um, another kind of glue that I could recommend and that you could probably use is Elmer's Glue All Multipurpose Glue, but remember to get the extra strong formula. So this is not the Elmer School Glue. Um, the common one, this is a much stronger version. So um, for small touch-ups, I use a glue stick like this one, the Amazon Basics glue stick. Um, I get them in packs of 12 and uh, they last a very long time. So there's going to be a lot of cutting involved um, of thick materials when you make a um, folding board. So I'm going to use a uh, Fiskars rotary paper trimmer or cutter uh, for the, my main cutting implement. And you also need a metal cork-backed ruler. There's the cork back right there. And a self-healing mat, which I just happen to have here as the background. Uh, for uh, smaller things, we're going to need a nice, durable pair of scissors. Um, there's also going to be joining of seams of sections. So um, I've ordered some book binding tape, which is the tape I definitely recommend to use. Right now I don't have any book binding tape, so I'm probably going to end up using just a roll of vinyl duct tape. And um, there's a part in the procedure where I will be temporarily affixing the images to the backing for purposes of alignment, and for that we're going to use some painter's tape. All right, the first step in making a folding board, in this case a six section board, I need to print out the images in sections. So this is a 20 inch by 24 inch board and I've printed it out in six sections using a Mac app called Split Print. Now this is on plain printer paper and as you can see the quality is pretty good actually on my uh, HP uh, Office Jet Pro 9018 printer. Um, Normally, I print out the images for my boards on a uh, photo paper, but I've run out of photo paper. So um, for this particular build, I'm going to make do with plain printer paper. So this is the first step. And then the next step is going to be to create the backing. So that's what I'm going to show next. So for the backing, um, for the folding board, I have tended to use magazine board and the brand of this one if i can get into the shot is bcw magazine board so this is 24 point magazine board eight and a half inches by 11 inches size um, and i want to do at least two layers um, of this per section so i'm going to need a total of 12 sheets of magazine board. So let me go ahead and take those out. 12. All right. So now we have 12 pieces of magazine board. And as you can see, each one is about, see, I measured these before. Um, I'm going to say it's about 1.5 millimeters thick, maybe between 1.5 and 2 millimeters per sheet. So if I stick them together like this, I'm going to end up with a board that's about um, three millimeters thick, three to three point five, which is not very thick, um, but also not too thin. So it's it's thick enough for my purposes, I have found. Um, I could keep on adding layers and make it even thicker, but then this would um, use up even more of my materials. And part of my ethos, part of my kind of guiding principle when I'm making print and play games is I, um, you know, want to be as efficient as possible, as frugal as possible with my materials. So how am I going to stick these guys together? Well, normally I use spray glue. And if uh, you've known me for 
any length of time at all, you'll know that my favorite spray glue is 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive glue. And this is the style with the non-stick um, spray cap. And um, there's really no reason why I shouldn't use this also for this. Um, but I've recently acquired a different kind of glue. And this is Elmer's Glue All Multipurpose Glue Extra Strong Formula. So normally I don't recommend Elmer's Glue uh, for print and play at all. But um, that's the school glue, the water-soluble school glue. So this Elmer's Extra Strong Formula Glue All uh, is supposedly much better uh, and a much stronger adhesive. Um, and it also dries fast. So... I think I will try this out for this particular build and see how it works for me. So the next step is I'm going to be placing some glue and then sticking these two at a time, two sheets at a time. Okay, through the magic of editing, we have now have the six sections of two layers each of um, backing board, the, uh, ba the magazine board. So each of these is two layers, so it's a little bit thicker, and I'm actually pretty happy with how the glue has dried, and everything seems to be pretty straight without any um, curling, which is what you want to watch out for when you're using these types of glue, especially Elmer's glue. Um, you want to watch out for curling of the paper. So I'm not noticing any major curling of the paper, so that's a good news. Now the next step is we are going to be temporarily affixing the images, so these six images, to each one of these, it's, re it's re corresponding backing, for the purpose of, number one, cutting the images, so getting this white space out, and then um, to cut the uh, backing paper down to size, to the correct size to match the images, is we're gonna use a little bit of painter's tape on the backs of each one of these uh, images and to use painter's tape to temporarily affix them to the backing board. All right, so now that we have temporarily affixed each of the images to its corresponding backing, the next step is we're gonna cut these out. So for each image, we're going to cut off the excess white areas on the other side. And of course, we're gonna be using our um, Fiskars rotary trimmer and our metal cork back ruler, and we're gonna be doing it on this uh, self-healing mat. So that's the next step. Okay, so now we have all six sections that have been cut out. And let's see if we can lay this out the way it's supposed to look. So now we get an idea of what the board is going to look like with all six sections. And so the next step is going to be, we're now going to have to figure out the proper way to uh, affix the uh, the duct tape that I'm going to use for this purpose. So in this case, this duct tape right here, and figure out the correct folds uh, so that this is going to be a nice folding board. So uh, I will show, that's the, th the next thing that I'll be showing you in this process. So um, now the, we've come to the part where we're gonna start taping 
um, the board. Uh, we're looking at the back of the board right now, and um, we're gonna place a strip of duct tape here and a strip of duct tape here. I actually had to um, consult an old video of mine that's already on YouTube uh, to remind myself how I tape a six-fold board. So um, that was a, a part where an old video of mine was actually helpful in reminding me <laughs> how, um, how to properly tape a six-fold board. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a strip of duct tape here. <laughs> So that is the two pieces of tape that are going to go on the back and then now we're going to flip the board and um, put the rest of the tape on the front part. All right, so now we've flipped the board to this side and then what we're going to do is we're going to place tape, so we'll remove these images over here, and we're going to place tape right here. Now we're going to do a similar thing on this side of the board where we're going to put a strip of tape over here. So which means we have to remove these sections of image very carefully, making sure not to rip or bend. And the next piece is we're going to put a piece of tape over here. So the idea here is this is going to bend. This is going to fold like so. So the final piece is we're going to put a strip of tape in the middle here. So if we've done this correctly, then what you expect to see is this part folds over here, folds back there. This part does the same in the opposite direction and your entire board folds down to that size. And then let's open it up once again. There you go. We've uh, created the folding board and now the final piece is to apply glue to these sections and then we're gonna put these images where they belong. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to apply glue. I'm thinking probably this glue stick, just because it's the most convenient to get laid down in a flat way on these sections. And then once the glue is down there, then we will um, affix the images. So that's what we're going to do right now. <music> So there you have it. Um, after all of that work, we now have a six section folding board. Um, so let's take a closer look here if I can pull up the camera. And I was pretty happy with most of the alignment between sections. Uh, everything was going really well right up until we got to the last part here where um, there's a little bit of misalignment that you can see here. Uh, in this part of the board, although it's better here on this side um, So I'm not gonna worry about that. It's not 100% perfect. I'm not gonna redo it There's just way too much work to uh, to redo it. I'm just gonna live with it um, But everything else seems to have lined up really well in the seams and once again just because it's a folding board let's go ahead and um, see how it folds so this piece here folds to the back like that. And then this piece here folds to the front like that. And then finally everything folds like so. And we have a nice, neat six fold board. Now let's unfold it.
and there you have it. So I have now completed my six-fold board um, project for my build of Escape from Innsmouth. And I hope that that has been helpful for you to show you and take you through every piece of the process from beginning to end. And hopefully this video helps you as you try to create your own print and play folding board projects. Until next time, this has been Martin. Thanks for watching.